Welcome to Stories Podcast. I'm your host, Amanda Weldon. Today, we have a special bonus episode more suitable for our younger listeners called The Croc from Duna Do, an original poem by Daniel Hines. Thanks. Enjoy the episode. The Croc from Duna Do. In the deepest, darkest river of the jungle Duna Do, there lived a wild crocodile who mainly loved to chew. He'd eat up all the antelope, he'd swallow all the swans, he'd gobble down a turkey brown, and lives on in this song. Yes, this mighty crocodile was feared by all the land. He was the king of the river and the sultan of the sand. He'd breakfast on the bison, his lunch a leaping lynx. Gazelle in packs were all his snacks, and dinner was a sphinx. Well, one day our wild crocodile, whose parents named him Jack, was taking in a tortoise when his tooth broke with a crack. He yelled out like a yeti, he hollered like a hawk. He bellowed loud as a lion proud and peeped like a peacock. Oh, his tooth, it was a hurtin', but he was hungry still. So he found himself a critter and bent to it with a will. But his tooth was badly broken. It was surely sorely smashed. Oh, it was true, it hurt to chew, and all his dreams were dashed. So he picked up his telephone, a dentist he did dial. He called the only one around to drive out to the Nile. The dentist arrived promptly, old Jack he opened wide. And showing pluck and trusting luck, the dentist leaned inside. Old Jack he couldn't help it, well he had to have a taste. So he bit down just a little on the gentle dentist's face. Next thing he knew, he swallowed, and the dentist was dessert. But with a moan and half a groan, he realized his tooth still hurt. So he got back on that telephone and called himself some docs of the veterinary variety who kindly cared for crocs. Well, they all came a-running with brightly colored shots in reds and blues and ones and twos and some with speckled spots. Well, old Jack saw those needles and thought, well, I'd rather have these doctors all for dinner than to feel a single jab. So as those docs crept closer, he opened nice and wide. But with a tut, his jaw snapped shut right when they stepped inside. Having no luck with humans, well, old Jack put out the call for the animals to help him, be they normal, large, or small. The sloths, they came so slowly. The cheetahs, they came fast. From far and near, they volunteered to fix his tooth at last. The animals all lined up to take their turns in trying to fix the old croc's broken tooth with patching and a prying. Jack tried his best to let them, but the first paw on his tongue had his smile cruel, all dripping drool. The dinner bell was rung. He ate up a hundred parrots and a hundred hundred snails. He ate some fattened river fish so big they looked like whales. He ate up all the antelope, he swallowed all the swans. He gobbled down a turkey brown and pig down on the prawns. Next came up the tigers, but old Jack, he wolfed them down. The monkeys lasted longer, but in the end fell to the crown. The birds came down to help him, but he ate them up like sweets. All unconcerned, old Jack, he turned his helpers into treats. But still his tooth was hurting. Help, help, old Jack, he cried. But he'd eaten everybody, 
So no one came to his side, licking his lips in sorrow for the poor souls that he slurped. Old Jack, he sighed and open wide, and then old Jack, he burped. Up, up came the little birds, up, up the monkeys too. Up, up came all the tigers, old Jack's mouth was like a zoo. Up, up came all the animals, all normal, large and small. Dentist bright, doctors in white, old Jack burped up them all. He begged them for forgiveness for his most munching ways and swore that if they fixed his tooth, he'd change for all his days. The dentist agreed to do it, the doctors would assist. And with a jerk, some nervous work, old Jack's cracked tooth was fixed. The crocodile smiled then, a toothy sight to see and said, to give you all a chance, I won't eat you until three. What about the deal we made? The crusty crowd, they cried. Jack said one, watched them all run and smiled big inside. In the deepest, darkest river of the jungle, do na do, there lived a wild crocodile who mainly loved to chew. He'd eat up all the antelopes, he'd swallow all the swans, he'd gobble down a turkey brown and lives on in this song. The End Thanks for listening!